This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 You guys, it is officially spoopy season. I, well, I mean, spoopy season for me begins, it began like a couple weeks ago. Friday the 13th, September, Friday the 13th really kicked it off, really got me in the spirit. I mean, I've been in the spirit for a while now, but it is crew time. Spoopy edition. In honor of Halloween. Hold on to your butts. This one's, this one's a good one. Okay, so today's episode of Crew Crime, it's not really a, a crime, it's not really a crime, it's not really any crimes going on, but it is spoopy, okay? It's a spoopy story, spooky story. It's a ghost story, ish. This is the story of Robert the Doll. <laughs> so my makeup look today is inspired by one of my favorite spooky things. I shall reveal that at the end. So if it starts looking a little crazy, well, you know, it's me, so. I took a shortcut, obviously, and I already have my entire face and eyebrows on. So, here we go. In the late 1890s, a four-year-old boy named Jean Otto was given a handmade doll. The doll is a little boy in a sailor suit. It's rather unusually large in size. It measures about 40 inches tall, like the size of a toddler. His face, hands, and feet are all made to look, you know, human, although he's made of cloth. He has button eyes and he holds his own little toy dog. He's haunted, he causes car accidents, broken bones, divorce, lost jobs, illness. But wait, there's more! <laughs> Let's back it up. Let's back it up a little bit. So the Otto family, Otto, like O-T-T-O. The Otto family lived in Key West in the 1800s. They owned a plantation there on Key West and they were not nice to any of the people that lived there because, you know, slavery. So the 13th Amendment that abolished slavery um, had only been signed like 30 years before at this point. And Florida was one of those states that was like a hanger on and they just changed the name to involuntary servitude. So the legend goes that one of the servant girls, slaves, made the doll as a gift to the son Otto, or Jean, his name's Jean. The doll was named Robert after Jean because Jean's name is Robert Jean Otto, but he went by, no, his name was yeah, Robert Jean Otto, and he went by Jean, so he named the doll Robert. Wow, I am a really great storyteller today. <laughs> so this doll was not any old, like, my buddy situation. Do you remember that doll? My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. From when we were kids, my buddy, my buddy. It was like that size. Okay, it was big. So the servant was a, a Bahamian woman from, you know, from the Bahamas. She was said to be skilled in voodoo and black magic. So as an act of revenge for, you know, being treated the way that they were all treated, she um, cursed the doll with dark spirits and hatred. And she made it with human blood and hair and stuffed it with rags that were soaked in the liquid of the dead. So, you know, blood, probably. <laughs> so although that story and that origin is, sounds so creepy and amazing. Uh, the doll was actually a gift from Jean's grandfather who purchased it in Germany. The toy maker, the Steef company, is the same company that like invented the teddy bear. They say that Robert was probably not meant to be sold, but he was like fabricated for a window display because he looked like these other little elf, you know, jesters. And the sailor suit was m not made by the toy maker. It was likely one of Otto's Jean's old outfits. You know, sailor suits were all the rage back in those days. We're going in with blue today, folks. Anyways, okay, so the doll is, you know, weird and <laughs> whatever. Gene loved that doll. He really did. It was his little buddy. They spent every minute together. He didn't have any siblings. So they played together, they slept together, everything. Gene's parents would hear him talking to the doll. They would hear him late at night talking to the doll, actually. Then they started hearing other voices. So one night, little Jean woke up to find Robert the doll sitting at the end of his bed, staring at him, well, facing him with his button eyes. So moments later, Jean's mother 
was awoken by screams for help coming from Jean's room and the sound of furniture being like thrown all over the room. So Jean was crying out for help and begging his mother to rescue him. And when she finally got the door open, the room had been like totally trashed. Jean was terrified and Robert the doll was just sitting on the end of the bed with his little button eyes. So Jean and Robert continued their little friendship all through Jean's childhood. You know, incidents here and there, whatever. As things went on, they got a little bit weirder. Whenever there was like mischief that happened in the house, something went missing or something was broken or out of place or whatever, they would, you know, of course, think it was Jean because he was the only kid in the house and he would say, Robert did it. So eventually Gene grew up and he moved away from the home, you know, to pursue his education, to study. He studied art in Chicago and New York and he later traveled to Paris. That's where he met Anne, Annette, her name was Annette, but she went by Anne. She was a Boston native and she was there in Paris studying music. So Jean and Anne eventually got married in Paris and then they moved home to Key West and moved into Jean's childhood home. They lived there together for the next 40 years or so with Robert. Uh, Anne was not really a fan of Robert. She thought he was a tad creepy, you know, because the way he looks, he's, he's not adorable. That's for sure. He's a little, he's very strange. Okay. Anyways, and Jean used to play little tricks, little pranks on Anne, you know, like move things around the house or whatever, and then say, Robert did it. Well, this might be a flop of a look, but it's a look nonetheless. Okay, so Jean built Robert his own like space in the house. It was complete with his own furniture and toys. It was like in the turret room of the house. It was like a, you know, like a Victorian kind of house. This doll was like absolutely real to Jean. Robert spent his days propped up against the window looking out at, you know, kids walking by and all that. It was weird. People tend to outgrow toys as they age, especially men, but not Jean. So Anne tried to be cool about it. You know, like it's his childhood home. This is his childhood doll. He didn't have any siblings. So like, you know, be cool, man. She was super duper creeped out by Robert, wouldn't you be? Super creeped out by the doll, super creeped out by her husband's strange, like, connection and closeness to this doll. So one day Anne was in the house alone. Um, she was in the guest room with Robert getting something from the closet and the door shut and locked behind her. You have to lock it from the outside. Okay, people. So she stayed in there trapped for like several hours until Jean came home and found her there. And then she was like, you know, we're done. We're done with this doll. The doll's gonna go in the attic. Jean wasn't super happy about that, but he's like, okay, all right, I get it doll's creepy. It can live in the attic. So that's where he went. Gene wasn't super psyched about it, you know, because that's his homie. <laughs> He's having to banish him to the attic. But you know who wasn't really happy about it? it? was Robert. Okay. Robert was pissed. Now he's locked in the attic? No. So now Robert lives in the attic. When guests would come or stay at their house, they would hear footsteps in the attic. Devilish giggling in the attic. School kids walking by would say that they would see Robert moving inside, like in the guest room, back and forth, or like where he used to sit. But remember, like he got moved up to the attic, right? So um, Jean went to go check on that. <laughs> so he went up to the guest room where they said that they had saw him and there's Robert just chilling on the bed. So Anne, of course, like I said, hated the doll, but that was their life. Eventually, Jean passed away in like 1974. As soon as that happened, Anne moved out, but uh, demanded that Robert be locked up in a cedar chest. That's where he stayed until she died about two years later. After Jean and Anne Otto passed away, the home was purchased by Myrtle Reuter. 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 The home was purchased by Myrtle Reuter. She kept the home for about 20 years. Um, at some point, I'm not, it's not really clear like when this happened, but at some point after, you know, they had purchased the home, Myrtle's daughter, who was 10 at the time, found the cedar crate chest up in the attic and was like, Yay, it's all! It was not long after that she claimed that the doll was alive. He wanted to hurt her and that he moved around the room without her. What? So back in the trunk, he went. 
So for years and years and years, Robert lived or, you know, was locked in the cedar crate in the attic until about 1994, she donated Robert to a local museum, the Fort East Martello Museum. And she told them at the time that this doll was moving around her house on his own. One time there was a plumber working in her house. He was like the only one in the room and with Robert. He heard giggling and then he turned around and the doll had moved across the room. By himself. <laughs> you fucking with me? No ma'am. So Robert was eventually donated to the Fort East Martello Museum in Key West. They knew about his alleged spirit connections or whatnot. Shortly after he arrived in the museum, stuff started to get weird. So the museum staff noticed that the vibes in the museum had definitely changed after Robert showed up. After he was officially put on exhibit underneath locked glass, um, the security cameras and other electronic devices around him stopped working. Yeek! So if you're ever in Key West, if you get on the conch train, it's like one of those little funny trolley, it's not a trolley, but it's like a, it's like a little train, tourist train. So if you get on the conk train or the trolley tour in Key West, you'll see the house. It goes past the auto house and other notable Key West landmarks. The, um, the house that Jean Otto grew up in is now called the Artist House. It's at 534 Eaton Street. It still stands today. It's one of the most photographed homes or structures in Key West. It now operates as a guest house. You can rent the turret room and you can stay in it overnight. Why would you do that? Because you're crazy. It is said that the ghost of Robert's wife, Anne, can be seen walking around the house, like up and down the stairs in her wedding gown. She is guarding people against the spirit of Robert the doll. Robert is still on display at the Fort East Martello Museum in Key West. You can visit him right now. If you want to visit him, a word of caution. Robert is haunted. It's been established. Robert is haunted. He doesn't like disrespect, okay? So if you wanted to go see Robert and you want to take his picture, you have to ask permission. It's a real thing. You, you have to ask a doll permission. I'm not kidding. It is known. It is known. So what happens if you don't ask permission? You might ask. Many tourists and visitors who have dismissed Robert's, you know, powers or abilities or took photos without asking permission encountered immediate bad luck. Missed flights, muggings, injuries. People would like get fired from work like the next day, Cra like craziness. Is it a coincidence? Maybe, but it was happening so much so frequently that people started writing him letters. Hang on a second, let me get on lashes. I'll be right back. Where were we? Robert is haunted. So when you go to visit him, you have to ask permission. And then what happens if you don't? Trouble, trouble, okay? The letters, people started writing letters to Robert to like apologize. And when you go to visit him, the letters from people are like there behind him and all around him hanging up. Robert has been featured in many TV shows, documentaries, podcasts, and there's even a feature film inspired by him called Robert. So the Key West Art and Historical Society actually sells a Robert the Doll plush replica. So my best friend Kelly lives in Key West still, which is how I learned all about this little creep. She actually right now lives about two blocks from the artist house. So that's creepy. When she first moved to Key West and was telling me all about Robert the doll, I was like, what? So I've definitely gone to visit him. He is creepy AF. I didn't take any pictures of him because I, no thanks. I mean, what am I gonna do with it? Print it out and hang it in my house? No. Do you wanna see what he looks like? He looks like this. That's inside the museum. It's like a fortress. You notice it's not like a true picture because they're afraid to take pictures of him. So the last time that I went to go visit Kelly, I think it was the last time, they had started selling those plush dolls because they didn't used to always have them. Kelly knows that I totally live for this crap, me and Tyler. We have a we have a big collection of weird dolls. It's a whole nother story. It was around Tyler's birthday when this happened. I had gone to see her and they started selling these dolls and she knew that Tyler would love one. She wanted to get him one of the dolls, but she wouldn't let me carry it onto the plane because she was so afraid that it would crash. <laughs> if I had this doll. No, she she bought it and then she mailed it to me. She would not let me carry it onto the plane. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Isn't he weird? Look at his face. Look at his dog. Robert, may I have your permission to tell this story about you? 
No, go fuck yourself. He's weird, man. He's weird. I like him. He's a conversation piece. I'm into it. The story is weird. Okay, so was it a gift from grandpa in Germany or was it made by a Bahamian slave who was very upset and it's like a voodoo cursed doll? Haunted. Either way, it's creepy. This is like a one-tenth scale. The real Robert is like the size of a small child. He's huge and Uber creepy. Super creepy. He lives at our house with the rest of our weird dolls. Speaking of weird dolls, hold on to your butts. It was my birthday recently and Tyler is the best gift giver in the history of gifts. And he wanted to get me something very special. It was worth the wait, okay? And it's here. You wanna see it? Oh my God. Of course you do. I mean, can you, s it's so big. Like, this is a felted wool, original 90s Pennywise the Clown. Hence my makeup look today, Pennywise chic. This was handmade by a gal in the United Kingdom. She has an Instagram and an Etsy store. It's called Freakish Felts. This was handmade, this was totally custom from a photograph, this photograph. <laughs> when I opened the package, I was dumbfounded. Look at him. I mean, that's all wool. He has expressions. I'm obsessed with this. Now his hair is all over my microphone. Penny, you're shedding. I love him, he's my favorite thing ever. And I'm obsessed with him and I'm going to love him forever. And he's going to live next to my computer and he's gonna point at me every day and laugh at me, ha ha ha. If you don't think that my makeup is good, hang on a second, I have this. How's that? Are we twins now? Yeah? Yeah? Bye, Penny. So that is the story of Robert the Doll. I will put some links of interest to Robert the Doll and to the Key West Arts and Historic Society if you wanna try to purchase your own plush Robert the Doll replica. I know that this wasn't really crew trying, but it is a spoopy story. So thanks so much for hanging out today and for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this one, then consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. I upload new videos here on YouTube every Thursday at noon. You can follow me on all of my socials and that is it for today. I will catch you next week in next week's video. Bye! There's a doll, a spooky doll. Look at his face. Not my face. Like my clown chic makeup. I'm trying to do like a triangle situation and I, I don't know if it's turning out. Look at that. His hands, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Let me explain something to you. <clears throat> Wait just a darn minute. Hi, Robert. Ahoy there!